the lemon fantasy continues. I went to Dollar Tree, well, you know, and I am very, very shocked. I feel like there has been a transition or I don't know if that's the right word. There's been an amazing progress with at least my Dollar Trees that I go to in terms of how often I'm seeing new stuff. You know, I remember, you know, a couple years ago, it was kind of like waiting for new stickers to come out, waiting for something new to come out. And now it's like, I can't keep up with everything new that's coming out. And I'm just, I don't want to ask questions. I don't want Dollar Tree to change what they're doing. So I'm going to dive right in. No long intro today. I'm going to show you everything that I got. This is two different stores, by the way. And so I'm not going in any particular order, except I do want to say, kind of save the best for last. But new gift bags. Also, ignore that sound in the background. My dog decided, you know how she is. She eats when I film. So look at these bags. They are so adorable. I'm really not too sure about this one. Like it's a humongous bag. And the front is dipped in glitter. The back is plain. And you can kind of see where the actual bag is. It's a really fun summer bag, especially if you know you're gonna be like attending a barbecue or something, you can bring the hostess a gift or whatnot. This is so adorable. If you're if you're like having like an ice cream or some sort of, ooh, that would actually be really fun to like do an ice cream party. I love this whole pattern. I love the baby blue with the ice cream and the cherries, very cute. They had a third one, I'll insert a picture here. It was kind of actually a lemon one and I just didn't find it appealing at all so I didn't get it. Um, comment down below, let me know if there's a fourth bag that I don't know of because the lady who was checking me out did say she was selling a ton of those the week before I was there. Okay, in this bag I found, okay, so let me kind of put that there. All right, so I found some new Oh my gosh, I didn't even see the back of these stickers. I just assumed when I looked at it, sometimes I look at things and I just grab it because I know I'm, I am like what I already see. I don't like really, that's a bad habit of mine. I really need to be inspecting everything. Like for example, one of you caught that something was misspelled on a notepad, which was hysterical. And I didn't like even catch that. I just get so excited when I see things, I just grab it. But I'm in total shock right now. I, uh, ah. Okay, so this is what I saw when I picked it up. These are amazing stickers for planners. These are the icon stickers, the action stickers, the flags. Oh my goodness, and look how many you get. I just assumed that I was getting the same exact sticker on the back. No, 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 they're even flipping cuter. the sunglasses, the TGIF, the cameras, the flamingos. Wow. And oddly enough, right after this video, I'm going to be filming my Dollar Tree top 10 favorite stickers. It's probably going to be like top 20. These are probably going to go in that video, so stay tuned. It's probably going to be out the day after this video is posted. But wow. And look, you've got little like markers for going to the dentist for going grocery shopping, bills, amazing. It gets better, it gets better. Okay, so then here's this one. Again, this is what I saw when I was at the store. And you get, this one's really nice because you get a lot of like words to do. Nope, gotta do this. Deadlines, important, lunch, make it happen, meetings all those really wonderful stickers. And I love all the different colors. Um, and then the back, oh my goodness. Wow, okay, let's move on. So this one I almost didn't get cause I was kind of like off put by the colors but then I realized that it was a galaxy theme.
how amazing and then the back There's the little dipper, the big dipper, even the words coincide with this theme. It says dream big dream and, you know, galaxy. Oh my God, reach for the stars, dream big. It says magical on here. That's just crazy. And this one is my original first reaction when I realized the back was different that you just saw. But look at these. So this is what, again, what I saw in the store. And here's the back. All right, so in this bag kind of has like a graduation theme. I am loving that Dollar Tree puts out graduation stuff. So my daughter is graduating next year, so 2019. But there were some things that didn't have graduation 2018. So I was definitely taking advantage of that because you never know if it's going to be out next year. And I'm going to have like a whole graduation party and all that stuff. So this was cute. It says the tassel was worth the hassle, which is a pretty popular saying for recent grads. Thought that was really cute. So I got that one. And then I got these party poppers. Um, shoots confetti and streamers up to eight feet. So I thought that was really, really amazing. So I just got obviously four. And I loved this bag. It didn't say 2018 on it. I thought it was really cute. And all of her friends are graduating too, so I'm going to have to do graduation presents for them, and so I'm like trying to stock up for that as well. I think that's pretty much it, yeah, for graduation stuff. Then I saw these facial, like, scrubs, scrubbers. They're kind of like a, it's silicone. It's a silicone. That's what it is. And I've actually bought these from Dollar Tree before, but I never ended up liking them. They're really difficult to use because they don't have a grip and these do so you have a little grip that you can use and you know exfoliate your face with so and they even give you a little opening to feel the silicone so i love that you get two so i got those and let's see what's next so i originally went to this dollar tree to get bubble wrap for something i had to mail while i was there i got one of these bubble envelopes and then i got bubble wrap but that's not in this haul because i already used it and next, I found some new stickers. So, look how beautiful this one is. And this is an actual entire sticker, the bike and all, but some of it is a pop-up, like this little flower basket. All of the floral is a pop-up. It's kind of really hard to see it because the cover is still on here. Even this is a sticker. It's kind of hard to tell what's a sticker and what's not. And then this one, I was, what? This is what I'm talking about. Like every time I've been hauling lately, I feel like I've been showing you guys brand new stuff. Okay, and then they came out with new and improved fuzzy keychains. I'm sorry, but these look very much Marc Jacobs quality. When Marc Jacobs used to do these, I don't know if he still does it now. It's probably a trend that he has moved not Marc Jacobs, but Michael Kors, sorry. Michael Kors used to really do these because I saw it in the store once, but these are very good quality. The other ones that I've hauled in the past were nice. They were what you'd expect from Dollar Tree, but these are outstanding quality. They're super soft, you guys. And these are all the colors that I obviously found and has this really great clip. So these should fit and hook on to all kinds of things, whether keychains or your planner or your backpack, your purse. So look at this mint color. Look at this mint color. Ugh. And then this happened. A5 planners in spring colors. What is Dollar Tree doing to me? 
A5 planners, and they also had the larger planners in the same material and the same colors. But I really don't like those larger uh, binders. I think cute A5 size binders are really just feminine and they're, I don't know, I feel like a lot of us in the planner community are really attracted to planners that are smaller, at least I am, and they have these at Dollar Tree. Now granted the material isn't the best, you can kind of see this one's like bubbling up, so definitely go through and make sure that you're grabbing the one that's best, but you can kind of see, you know, it's, it's not amazing, but you can build your own Dollar Tree planner now. You can buy paper from Dollar Tree, cut it to size, start making, you know, certain inserts, Give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do a video for Dollar Tree planners. And then you have the hot pink. It's a three ring binder and you get, look, the little pocket. So that's great. You get a little pocket. And then this yellow, which is everything to me. Like, look at this. So they're all the same. There's really no difference other than the color. And I absolutely love the colors they came out with. I wish they would have done a lavender and a baby like powder puff blue. I would have just been, I would have been extra about it. I would have been extra about it. But can you believe A5 size planners are a Dollar Tree? I <laughs> All right, this really wasn't that big of a haul, but here is what I was basically saving for last. Definitely go to my vlog channel because I vlogged me going to Dollar Tree and you'll see other frames that I found, but I'll also insert a photo um, of some that I took. But I don't even know what to say. If you watch all of my videos, then you probably know that my kitchen has like a lemon theme. I've even done like a kitchen updating like spring decorate with me video. So I'll link that at the end for you so that you can see why I wanted these like lemon photo frames. But I also have a farmhouse feel and I found farmhouse picture frame with the cherries, which is gorgeous. Now it is red. I would have loved if this would have been like green apples or something but it's still really pretty. The, the frame is really cheap. So if I wanted to level this up, I could definitely go to Hobby Lobby when frames are 50% off and get this a new frame, maybe even like a matte border, and you have just updated this to look so expensive, at least more expensive than it does now. So I think I'm gonna be doing that because I really love these prints. Yes, I can probably spray paint these too as another makeover idea, if you can't like find a Hobby Lobby or you can't afford a more expensive frame and you're on a budget, you could definitely spray paint these. I just want a thicker frame. I think a thicker frame just elevates the look of a print. So I think I might be doing that. You never know, I might end up spray painting too. Okay, here's the next farmhouse one. my life okay so I'm trying to do this so you don't see the glare what I I don't even have words and even if I wanted to keep this in the frame the frame is really special in a way because it's like got this gold so I love that it's not your standard you know Dollar Tree black but oh my goodness I still think I might change out the frame but I don't know because this looks like a very unique sized um, image, which means I might have to have a custom frame. This one looks pretty standard. It looks like an eight by 10, right? So that would be easy to do. This one, not so much. So I don't know what it's gonna cost if I do a custom frame, but I'll look into it and I'll let you guys know, but oh my, I don't even know what to say. All right, the next three, are lemons so this one is really cute life needs more sweet tea sunshine and lemons I assume oh my God. yeah I definitely have to change out this picture frame because this image is needs to go in my kitchen ASAP like I love this frame right here and I mean this picture it's just beautiful beautiful and this one says, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade, which is a very popular saying. Love this. The frame is not too bad. I'll probably keep these frames for something else, 
but I think I do want to reframe these images because I want to hang these up in my kitchen. And this one is probably my favorite. It's very, very simple, but I'm just in total shock. And I have to tell you guys, these weren't the only amazing new art prints from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> there were tons more. And definitely go check out my vlog. I, I don't think my vlog is going to be up, unfortunately, before this because my vlogs are behind. But, um, but that's pretty much my haul. I can't believe every time I've sat down, I'm showing you guys new stuff. Please give this video a thumbs up. I can't handle it. I really honestly can't handle it. I am going to film my Dollar Tree top 10 stickers, probably more. I really think it's going to be more than 10 um, next. So that video is going to be up after this one, uh, the next following day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And my lemon fantasy at Dollar Tree continues because now I'm going to try to find everything lemons there. So <clears throat> again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.